What is up, Beak Squad? Derek coming at you with another video. We on Bear Lake, Utah. We are chasing some Lakers. It's fall time. The fishing's slow, but we're gonna try to get them. I got Cody the Kokanee Kid with me, right here. Yep, and we gonna slay us some Lakers. See you out there. Are you ready? Uh. Are you ready? We gonna do some fishing. Yep, that's me. And this is Cody. And although we both have many different likes in this world, there's one thing that bonds us as brothers, and that's the love and passion for fishing. Dude, that's another good mark, Cody. Boy, he came in hot too, and then he just, just stopped. Oh my gosh, look at that school. Trying to get that footage. I say those are whiteies. I don't know. Hard to tell. Oh, I got one engaged on me. See that? Got him. Oh, I had him. Had one. Had it in his mouth. Oh, I still got him. Ready? Oh. Missed him. He's on you. God, he had it in his mouth. He just a terrible hook set. He was swimming with it across the water over here. Might need a smaller tube on these ones. I think that's cutthroat though. That was awful darty. Might get a smaller tube ready real quick. Or should I go the hair jig? This hair jig does not look good. Well, that was nice seeing some aggressive fish. Ish. Terrible hook set. Look at that torpedo. Oh, I hit him. That's a lake trout. Playing the chase game? Dude, he hit it so hard. He didn't get it in his mouth though. I, I, I know I'm probably lost him. That was definitely a lake trout. Hey, that's what we're looking for right there. Dude, I'm an idiot. I just can't set the hook with the... No, that was a hair jig. I think he just locked into me. Do you see how fast that was? That was, I don't care what you are. Time to change it up. Time to change it up. Okay, I'm going with this. Color. I just got a suspicion this is the color. I'm gonna suss. Suspicion. Sus, sus, suspicion. Let's get rid of this. Craw danky. I got a feeling deep in my groin. As I try this Ned's Bait Box Laker piece up, you guys need to go check out lakeshoretackle.com for your fishy dinner options. He seriously has like everything for coconut trout, burbot, and these uh, grease balls are chasing today. I mean, he's seriously he's got some cool plastic, so go check him out. Now, there are sculpins out here. Sculpin. You never seen a sculpin? They're like the wing looking fish. Sculpin. Google it. Time to use my pro rod. The beak stick. Bringing it home. All right. All right, I'm calling it 15 minutes. Get the heck out of here. All right, Cody and I have 
officially moved to the east side of the lake. We spent the better half of, uh, what, three hours, Cody, now? Three hours dinking around over at the uh, rock piles. So now we're moving over to where we fished last uh, fall, ice season, east side of the lake. I think we've already found a good run. So we're turning the cameras on. Gonna catch us some damn fish. So I've got a Christensen tackle tube on right now. Cody, here we go. Oh. He's all over you. Oh, he almost hit it. He's looking around at all the jigs. Oh, rat's nest. Dang it. Dude, he came in like a missile. Oh, he's back on you again? Oh. Yep, yep, he's on your one of yours. Come on, beacons, get your sh together. Under the last coat. Okay. Just, gonna sweep, just keep switching colors until find the tube that they just don't stop on, you know? Oh my gosh. Keep getting backlashes here. I just suck. Okay. Time for a Coke. Forgot the liquor. Sandwich. Do I have a feeling, Cody, we're gonna get one. We're gonna get a fish soon. Oh yeah. Maybe if I have a sandwich in my hand, I'll catch something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, yeah, hit your, it's hitting your big tube. He's coming back for it. Oh, did I get him? Nope, missed him. Had him. Had him for a second. I've got backlash of the century. Had our chance, Cody. Didn't seem very big, but definitely Laker-esque. My back's kind of stiff, I'm standing here. Oh! Oh. It's got to be a rainbow or a cuddy or a really small laker. I still don't think we have the right color. Well, we're on a spot to catch fish. Active fish, right? Without the live scope. You got to be kidding me. What was that? A sucker. Sucker. Well, the only sucker is me today. Mm. Wow. On a tube. Still being fish. No, that's gonna be the joke today. Well, the only sucker out here is me. <laughs> Freaking hail. Okay, here we go. I'll try to do this. It's a damn fish. <laughs> oh man. Thanks, Cody. It was hungry. Hungry. Yeah, it's been a rough day. Okay, that only took 10 years to catch a sucker. I'm going back down. Got him. 
Got him? Yep. This feels more crowded. Okay, this feels better. You want to grab a stick? The go stick. And we can get some of the footage down here. Need a little music. Oh, it's a Laker. Yep, it's a Laker. Definitely a Laker. It's a good one too. Break to run. Got him, Cody? Hell yes, dude. <laughs> yeah -hoo -hoo. Cody with the the money. Not a bad Laker, right? Here you wanna grab me the wires. A little country here, I don't want him beating around. Get them back in quick. No live scope needed. Oh, it's a tagged one. Whew. Got a tagged Laker. Oh, the GoPro. Back in business here. Tagged Laker today. We'll have to read the code. Yeah. Hang on, let me get a better grip here. I don't want to do his gills. Hang on. Oh, holy moly here. Okay, you ready for the code? Take a picture of that tag. You got the tag? 17, whatever. Then we need a measurement for their for them as well. I'll get them back. Okay. Nicely done, Cody. <laughs> Holy cow. Son of a gun. First uh, me being a sucker and then that. With no live scope. We've had live scope freaking problems. Had to get back to our roots. Hell yeah, man. Oh, that made the whole trip. Now let's just hope our cameras uh, did what they were supposed to. <laughs> yeah, we forgot how to catch fish. Ugh, it's hot. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got swass. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna end up cramping. Dude, this feels good. What, getting out of it? Little wind, out. little breeze right here. Oh, I want us to be ice season so bad. I brought the ice gear. Bad idea. Good for this morning. Bad for now, but let's go. All right, since fishing slow real quick and I took my clothes, uh, my eyes closed off, I'm going to go ahead and put them back on and show you guys a recap video. Uh, we did a fishing adventure this last fall. We fished twice out here. Did pretty well. I caught one day. I caught three nice Lakers um, with good friends. Um, I got my rod builder, Scott Wherwin, wears a rod. He caught a really nice one. And then Brian Losey with uh, Priority One actually shot the video on his channel, uh, Clam Eyes team member Brian Losey with Priority One. I'll put a link in the description below. But yeah, with that being said, let me just show you guys some cool bear lake footage of on the ice and some big Lakers. Enjoy the footage. The big Lakers on the ice. <laughs> This is a 12 pound, 12 pound rake. 
Which it's always on the smallest here. rod, isn't it? Always. <laughs> and he's, he's burping. Right he's burping. He's right it's not as big as I thought, but boy, he, he sure fought though. I mean, it's a good fish. I think he's got, right? He's just not quite ready yet. I'm ready for his head up yet. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Is he coming up? There we go. There we go. Nice and warm out today, so we can take a minute here. We'll get him back in there pretty quick. I don't know, what do you think? Maybe kind of scale. Yeah. I got one. We'll get this. This isn't what we're looking for. Yeah. We're looking for bigger. I'd be happy with that. <laughs> right? <laughs> he said, I'm out of here. It's a way to okay. start us off. You got the hot stick today. That's for sure. You don't feel like a very big fish. Oop. It's kind of fighting like a cut. A little pup. Yeah, that's actually a really healthy pup. They have such, the, such a cool color in this lake, don't they? Yeah, Using that iridescence, kind of that real light, almost bluish hue to them. Let's get another release here, what do you say? <laughs> What's up with this guy, man? It could be good. I don't think it's as big as the last one. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. It's another nice one. I mean, not monster, but... Again, on a light line here, I might rock, light everything. It's going to be nice one, huh? Careful. Ready? No, smaller. Hey, he's there. close. He's got a little more girth. I don't know. Let's get him on the board. Where's his dirty mark? 29 and a half. From sitting down. I caught that in the most craziest <laughs> position. I don't want to give him to Gilly. He's kind of awesome. We'll get a good release on this one because it's not as big. My hands are so slimy. Man. They're so healthy here. Good job. 15 more minutes? <laughs> <laughs> All I gotta do is walk away. <laughs> Hi, right, Beak Squad. This is what we're dealing with. Suckers, bait fish, trout around, and just not biting our crap. We've had a lot of them come in and commit but my goodness fishing has been slow today i mean that's lake trout fishing for sure but sun's going down starting to cool down again glassy lake i've never seen anything like it. it's freaking ridiculous i mean it's cool but ridiculous so we're doing our last ditch efforts hopefully hopefully a fish we're kind of hoping for that afternoon bite, but we'll see. We're definitely in the right spot. Definitely lake trout's coming through, just can't get them uh, to bite. We're in overtime. Cody, we're in overtime. I do not mind putting the work in. And one fish is better than no fish. All right, Beak Squad, I'm gonna leave the outro as simple as this. You saw what happened, we'll get them next time. We'll see you on the next adventure at Beaks Outdoors. 
After our scenic, almost perfect day one, we set our sights on what day two may bring. With the weather showing a different side of Bear Lake, with the freezing rains, wind, and the aroma of fresh snow on the horizon. Though we knew the forecast, we still decided to chase the Bear Lake cutthroat in our quest to conquer Big Blue. Who knew the weather and fishing would be the least of our worries as we take you along for this ride. All right, we just got to our spot. As you can see, holy crap, the uh, waves and weather today, but we figured it should clear out, we're hoping. Just got set up here on the east side of the lake where we did not fish the morning time last time. So we're gonna try it now. We're running a big old seven inch mega tube with a piece of sucker on 12 pound braid and a uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader on a uh, ice rod, custom ice rod here built by Scott. Scott Ware, where's the rod? Just for me, a one of a kind glass rod, awesome. Figured I'd get it a test run. He gave me this, uh, built this for me. She's a little wet. We'll see if we get us a trout to come through and see how they like it. You run that tube? Yeah. Perfect. We'll run tubes for a sec, see what happens. We'll get the first one to commit. Show you guys what we're dealing with here today. 66 feet of water. Good water temps at 58. Oh, here we go. Oh. Holy moly. Did you see it on your scope? Did you see that on your scope too? It wasn't big, but it was trouty. Deep? 67. 67. You're not going to see the bottom because you have uh, rocks and stuff. We might have been. We can look where we're. Uh... Right. Shoot, I didn't even know where to... Mm. There we go. All right, it's game time. It's game time. We're on a good little ledge drop-off right here. A couple of them on the bottom. At least the weather's not like crazy. Are you staying warm? You on? Cody's on. Okay, feel good? Okay, let me uh, get, just take a second. Hang on, Cody, just a second. Let me get the camera over there. Cody's on. Okay. It's okay. Is it a blaker? Right there. Or is it a cutthroat? That's a cutthroat, man. Big old cutty. All right, let me. Oh, you got her in? Yeah. Nicely done, dude. Nice fish. Let me get, geez. Rocking the boat over here. Okay, hang on. All right, nice cutthroat, Cody. Get the measuring stick here. Yeah, yeah I got the picture, or the camera rolling. What are you thinking, 22, 23? Pinch the tail. <laughs> he almost bit you. Okay, here, let me turn this camera on a second. We'll get the release too. 22. 22. Here, let me get down a picture of that. Nice cut. Huh? This is how we do it right here. 
Cody's going on some brapping uh, trip to the dunes this week or tomorrow actually. <laughs> so he's gonna bring some dinner for uh, for friends. So what a good stand-up guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna get this one bled out and uh, one on the deck. Yeah, that my day. Oh, nicely done, man. <laughs> good looking. Yep. Fish, and like I said, don't worry about the blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I got, I got that on camera. God. Wait, my mouth was open. <laughs> oh, I think I got that on camera. <laughs> All right, Cody just uh, smoked a cutthroat 22-incher. Freaking stoked. I haven't been out here too long. Took us a second to get out here. You, you can see how wavy and crazy and daisy it is out here. All right, now my turn. We're gonna do our best to keep the uh, conditions uh, of the cameras running. Now, Cody said he caught that on a, was it a black um, transparent tube with a black flake or what was it? Dark green, black flake. Yeah, a dark green, not a chartreuse, a dark green, more of a natural presentation, but uh, some sharp, uh, good, good call on Cody. All right, Beak Squad, if you're wondering what rod I've been using throughout this episode, you've seen this rod. This is called the Beak Stick. This is my Pro sig uh, Signature Series, Where's the Rod. You can buy this online at wheresherod.com. I'll put a link to the description. They should be launching any day now for the ice season. It's a 40-inch 40, 40 carbon rod. This is meant for trophy lake uh, lakers. The guy that um, builds these rods actually caught a really nice 34-inch, a little slender, but long on this rod when we were testing out here this winter on that recap video so you'll see that too so anyway just wanted to share that if you guys were wondering what rod this was all right back to damn fishing clean you off this guy too <laughs> oh i almost lost him recording yep yeah we had camera problems oh nice cutty yeah you can get it Oh, camera problems. 99 problems, but the cut is in. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cody. All right, we suck, but we got we changed spots. We went to a new point, somewhere we've never fished before, and uh, I'm doing what you're not supposed to do with sharp teeth and a cut. Put your fingers in there. Right in the top of the old lipster. I have to get the pliers. Oh, now I'm not. But we're gonna keep this one. Make some cut dinner. Since the Lakers are not coming to play. Oh yeah! It's only been like 24 hours. Oh, nothing crazy, but you know what? Awesome. Bonneville cut strain, I believe, is what these are. Sweet. Sick. Yeah, he smoked the, uh, okay. the old minnow. Okay. All right. You saw I just caught the dang fish. Cameras were broken. We had our what Cody and I called the Go Cam. It's a camera that's ready to go to do releases or whatever. Now we did not release that cutthroat, and uh, we're just keeping the two today. That's it. The rest are going to be uh, released if we even catch more. It's been a hard fishing day. We've moved a lot. We battle the weather, but cameras are back on. So enjoy some more fishing while uh, the sun's out for a few minutes, and uh, we're enjoying this. So all right. That was the first drop, by the way, in the new spot. I'll show you what I was using. Gulp minnow, BMC hook here, jig head. No cut bait, no nothing. And a Christensen tackle uh, Dodger blade, 14, 15, 16 inch leader there. So if you can even see that. BMC. Okay, and I we kind of had a thought that the smaller baits with the Dodgers probably bring in the cuts, but cutthroat are better than uh, no, no, no fish, right, Code? So now we both got some cutties in. We'll target the bigger plastics out and bigger stuff but after I catch one more cutthroat oh we let go Cody I was ho oh, 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 I let go I was waiting too long god dang it well I just had a fish on that was definitely a cutthroat after constant audio and video failure and a big storm fast approaching, we knew our short day two was over. So we hung up the rods and raced to beat the storm. 
After barely making it off the lake and heading home, we had no idea this adventure was about to take us into day three. Here's what happened. All right, Beak Spot, welcome to day three's adventure. Uh, we started off with a bang here, and uh, it ain't gonna be fishing, it's gonna be repairing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had a little mishap yesterday on the way home, and uh, wheel fell off. There you go, day three adventure. Show you guys uh, why it's so important you pack your bearings. Gonna only laugh. Got my dad, this is Beak Senior here, who taught me everything I know fishing until the age of uh, 35. <laughs> when he retired and stopped doing it with me as much. So, all right, we'll get on it and see if we can get a repair done so I can put out some more content for you guys. Got a truck full of tools here. Got my lookout man and yeah, we're gonna we'll see if we get into a repair. Well, you don't get fixed, there's a place to stay tonight. Right there. So if I see somebody coming drifting, I'll say... I'm jumping in the boat? <laughs> I will tell you, give you a code word. Too we cold? ate too much food, so bending over is kind of hard right now if you hear me huffing and puffing. Ooh, see, we got the same problem back uh, home. And there's the seal, so there's the outside. There's the inside, right there. And there's the dust seal, which is usually what is the culprits that cause water to get in there. Don't you feel it in your bones? It shakes you to your core and it chills your soul. Well, that's going to wrap it up. If you like the episode, please like and subscribe. I appreciate the supporters that have already supported the channel. Um, if you feel really bad for me and my axle, subscribe. If you want to see more cool content, subscribe. And I appreciate you guys for watching. We'll see you guys on the next adventures of Beaks Outdoors. See you on the waters.